Okay, this is for Libra. Apparently, I'm having technical difficulties for whatever reason. It seems like I don't have storage, but I have like, I don't know, like four TVs. However you say that, Tetras or whatever. So anyway, I was in this huge like already going on. So here we go. Man's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimension. So this is an idea that you have, which co correlates with your oracles here that I've gone through it completely, all right, that you need to really act on, okay? So you have an ending of a cycle. You have a 10 here, scythe, sudden unexpected accident, cut, release, harvest, liberating, shock, reaping, uh, ripping off the band-aid, surprise, and a reckoning, okay? So from there, from that ending that was very painful, you have stars, wishes come true, peace, miracle, dream, falling in love, hope, inspired, providence, blessed, nighttime. So you're going to get a wish fulfillment, okay? Here it says, use your skills to aid others. So the magician, whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever it is that you've been manifesting is coming in. That's one eleven on the clock. And then something having to do with food. I also feel that this has to do with nutrition, that you have to be eating better, or you have to make sure that you watch your intake, uh, lots of fruits and vegetables, but also that this is an idea that you might be having, having to do with feeding or entertainment business or like a bar or a restaurant or like smoothies or shakes or something that's very um, uh, uh, healthy, okay? And you have to trust, trust a divine plan, okay? Uh, take inspired action. This is about putting your ideas to work. It seems like you have an impasse right now because that's not the way to go. And it says reflect and redirect your energy and a direct passage right here. There's there, uh, trust. There's a divine, uh, divine path plan. So you have two trusts here. So what I was saying in this video that didn't record is that you're wanting to go through one specific pathway that's really pretty, but the pathway that you're supposed to go through is through this desert that might look, you know, it's a pathway that you, that doesn't look like it's a good pathway, but that's where you need to go because that's where you're going to have the most progression and that's where the divine plan is set. Okay. That's where you need to go through. So take whatever is the one that you don't want to take, take that one because the one that you want to take is an impasse. Okay. Let's keep on going here. This is for uh, Libra. Um, for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. You're either a, a student, a client, um, you know, a family or friend. Something about a house. If you'll check my uh, Instagram page, there was something about a house that came out there. So this is about acquiring a house, a movement, acquiring property. Um, this is possibly maybe moving homes as well. All right. You have thievery here. So there's something or someone that's taken away like things, material wealth or energy, time or effort from you. So be mindful of that. Okay. And that's possibly why there is an impasse that you need to wait because that's not the way and that the people that you're with or the people that's really maybe you're thinking about, um, you know, is really not in alignment with, and that's possibly the one that you are cutting over. Okay. So trust, trust in the divine time. Yeah. Divine timing. Beautiful. Change, absolutely. Huge change coming in. This is seeing things from a different perspective and a higher perspective as well, okay? Trust the path. It might not look like it. It might be like barren or desert or in a way that you sort of don't want to go to. That's the way, okay? So, and then stand still. Just take a step back. I think you need to take a, take a step back in order to see things from a higher perspective and really, you know, maybe um, figure out what inspired action you need to take in order to move forward. Okay. Going forward. What did I say? All confirmation about what I'm saying. All right. We'll take one more and then we'll go to our tarot. Um, 
I think you're reflecting and contemplating. I also think that you've leveled up tremendously spiritually. Also, there's going to be a level up in terms of financing, in the finances and in terms of this um, idea that you have that you need to take inspired action. And then rejoice in celebration. Lots of collaboration, lots of friendships and um, like um, also... Uh, like people that you know you're coming into like your tribe your soul tribe like people like minded that are really going to propel you into like uh you know a uh, higher perspective okay and and a better place higher a uh, better environment okay let's um let's do your tarot this is for libra If you're not subscribed and this resonates, I would love for you to help me grow my channel. The the target at least is a thousand. If you would please, um, you know, help me grow. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I have super allergies. So, um, so you had a lot of anxiety in the past that you're overcoming and you're sleeping much better. You're great. There was some non-truths, okay, or some lies or deception about a group of people uh, possibly that were talking about you. I think that that's changed and I think you're going into a different perspective and a different type of group. I'm also think you're, I also think that you're getting vindicated and so that's great. I think this has to do with the work environment, okay, where you've had to put up strong boundaries and I think they've worked, okay. Um, yeah, there's some truth that came in with that. Um, I think you were waiting for an apology. Um, you didn't see this coming. Uh, you were kind of confused about this, but there's some truth or some like um, like um, message that came in through the internet where you had victory, okay? There's something about this having to do with work or collaboration or lack of that you've gained great victory over. I think it's been your consistency and, um, you know, your work ethic, okay? So, yeah, I think I, I, things are being seen, seen from a different perspective. You might be dealing with a boss, a government agency, uh, uh, people of power, and they see things in a very different perspective having to do with you, okay? Even though I, this is not a Gemini. I mean, excuse me, that's not a Libra. <laughs> Give me a minute. Um, even though this card is not a Libra, let me say that again. I feel that you're going into self-love and I think that people are seeing you in a much loving and more victorious way. I think that there was an ending of a cycle having to do with some sort of lack of stability or some sort of foundation that wasn't stable, okay, or possibly like a home situation or um, a property situation, all right? Something that wasn't happy, it concluded, okay? This was some karma that played out. This could also have been a marriage, okay? Or something that was coming, just coming for intimacy things that, you know, or somebody that was coming in intimately, only going, coming and going and not staying and not being stable, okay? And you refused the offer. I think you had to put up a lot of boundaries. I think people were talking bad about you as well. All right. I think there wasn't any justice to this. Uh, and I think that, that it created a huge burden for you. I think there was some regret having to do with like a wish fulfillment or a family situation, family dynamic that wasn't happy because there was a huge betrayal and a huge ending. This hurt you tremendously and you're healing, okay? This might have been a third party situation, lots of cheating, deception. Uh, but you're seeing things in a very different perspective or this person that did it to you is seeing things in a very different perspective or someone that's coming in that's of high position or high power is seeing things in a very different perspective. Something that you invested a lot in that but you just, just don't feel that it was balanced in any way, shape or form, okay? This, you're no longer confused about your legacy and the money that you want and, and the family and the foundation that you want, okay? You had to walk away from this because this person seemed like they had money, but they didn't, okay? Or they were very, um, what do you call it? Like, um, uh, um, when you're not cautious, you're very uh, reckless with their money, okay? There was a lot of uh, inner turmoil. This could also be like lots of fighting, competition, having to do with work or money, right? 
there's a reconciliation or there was a judgment call having to do with this. This might also be like a change of position or change of like attitude or an epiphany that maybe somebody had through some sort of like divine intervention or a dream, okay, that they had having to do with love. So maybe you were very much treated very poorly in the past and this person is really reflecting upon that and coming back. It looks like they're going to come back. Uh, and they're going to open up after much reflection and much healing, okay? There was some truth that came out having to do with lack of uh, give and take and being inconsistent and wishy-washy, all right? Something that was very confusing or um, hidden within a relationship. It could be a amorous relationship or it could be a work relationship, um, yeah, somebody was very much in their ego and very much in their sexuality only. But you looked into the future, okay? Let me see what else. Um, and you gave your back to this uh, to this situation that was really bad. There might be some communication coming in to you, okay? Someone's waiting for you or someone's waiting for you to communicate and you're not communicating, all right? They're coming in slowly. Don't wait for it. This night really never comes, okay? Um, somebody that's possibly not, maybe not stable, somebody that ghosted you in the past. They might also not be single, okay? So be mindful of that. And they ghosted you in the past and they might be coming up because they had a tower moment wherever it is that they went to. So be mindful, all right? Um, somebody might be coming back, somebody that withheld their emotions or somebody that had a fallout with some sort of female energy or a divine feminine that wasn't in her power okay take it as it resonates uh, but you're manifesting uh you know leaving all toxicity out this might have been a very lustful relationship in the past as well that maybe you were involved with you're looking into the future or this person is seeing you as somebody that they lust for but you're not in that energy anymore and you're resting they might be traveling towards you okay uh, wanting to see you but you've uh released this energy you've also released this love all right and you can see clearly now that this was not stable and there was no uh, real offer that they gave you okay and they really backstabbed you it's very clear to you this person has been backstabbed as well and that's why they're coming back okay it looks like they cut them off or you cut them off okay and you're pretty stable now and you're not wanting to it was a no-win situation in the past you're not wanting you're not wanting to go back to that and you are healing okay so love and light